Going into the 2019 college football season, sophomore quarterback JT Daniels was expected to take the next step and break out for the USC Trojans, but that didn't exactly happen. After he tore his ACL in their Week 1 matchup, USC started the 5th true freshman quarterback in school history, and his name was Caden Slovis. From there, he broke out into a bright young star, and he's become one of my favorite players in college football. Keaton went under the radar in high school, and no one expected him to be this good. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the rise of Keaton Slovis, and why he could be a future college football superstar. If you are new to the channel, you will not regret subscribing to the channel, as I have a ton of cool stuff planned for the rest of the summer, and you don't want to miss out on any more college football related content. Be sure to give the video a like, drop a video suggestion in the comment section, and turn on post notifications so you never miss another upload. Now let's get started with the rise of Keaton Slovis. Keaton grew up in the city of Scottsdale, Arizona, and loved football and basketball from a young age. He wasn't exactly supposed to play football though. His father was a local basketball coach, and his mother was worried about the safety of her son. Eventually, they made a deal that he was allowed to play flag football, but they agreed he could never play tackle. When he eventually got to middle school, he decided to give up on basketball completely and bought into the idea of playing high-level football. While he was in middle school, former five-star recruit and current NFL quarterback Kyle Allen was tearing it up at Desert Mountain High School and Solvis looked up to him in a way. When he eventually got to high school, his math teacher asked him what his goal was and Slovis responded by saying to start on Saturdays for a big-time program. He had that goal and truly bought into it, but he was going to have to wait. His coaches knew that he had Division I potential, but he was on a team without a lot of talent, and he was also going to be stuck behind a three-year starter at quarterback. Eventually though, Keaton became the starter his junior year, and he immediately showed his talent. Most quarterbacks commit to a school by their junior year, but Slovis was a complete unknown on the recruiting trail. There was not a ton of film on him, and to make matters worse, he never really went to camps, so it was hard for a big-name school to get behind him. Believe it or not, Kurt Warner was the team's offensive coordinator, and he excelled in his system. He threw for 2,987 yards and 32 touchdowns while only throwing 5 interceptions his junior year. Unfortunately, it was going to be very difficult to convince schools to recruit him though, as his team had very little Division I talent and his team had a really poor record. Scouts weren't exactly lining up to see him, but eventually he got his first offer from Hawaii and then his big break came. USC's quarterback coach Brian Ellis had found out about Slovis through other Arizona high school head coaches and they told him to check Slovis out. He watched his film and literally said, good god, who is this kid? Ellis watched him throw the ball, and it became the gateway for his recruiting future. He was blown away by Keaton's arm talent, and the fact that he didn't complain about having a poor supporting cast around him. He just went in there, dominated, and didn't complain. Ellis called head coach Clay Helton and told him that he found his quarterback. He eventually committed to USC, despite the fact they had Jack Sears, JT Daniels, and future 5-star recruit Bryce Young committed at the time. His mother became concerned he wasn't making the right decision, but he said the worst case scenario was that he'd walk away with a good education. Keaton decided to enroll early, and the USC players and staff knew they had something special the moment he stepped foot on the practice field. Despite being only a three-star recruit, Keaton Slovis was going to be the USC quarterback, and he defied all the odds. Clay Helton was the coach at USC, and JT Daniels was expected to break out into a star his sophomore year. Despite that, Slovis was expected to compete with Jack Sears for the backup position. Daniels was the star of the team, but after only two quarters, Keaton was going to be given his first chance to play. Daniels tore his ACL, and Slovis was thrusted into the starting spotlight. He completed his first career pass on a downfield throw to Tyler Vons, and he led them to a win over Fresno State. He started his first career game against number 23 Stanford, and they blew the Cardinal out after his school record four touchdown performance. He was named the Pac-12 Freshman of the Week, but it wasn't all amazing. He threw three interceptions the following week and a 30-27 overtime loss to BYU. He started their next game against number 10 Utah, but he would have to leave the game early due to a head injury. Matt Fink came in to replace him and actually led them to a win over the number 10 Utes. He would miss the next game against Washington due to concussion protocol, but he returned against Notre Dame. He had a big night against the Fighting Irish, but his team narrowly felt short in a thriller in South Bend. From there, he led them to two straight wins over Arizona and Colorado, and he was beginning to pick up some momentum. His next game he put up a career high in passing attempts and a blowout loss to Oregon, and he threw for 200 plus yards and 4 touchdowns in only the first quarter against his home state team of Arizona State, and he was named the Pac-12 Player of the Week because of that. After throwing 4 more touchdowns against California, he broke the Trojans school record for passing yards in a game with 515 against UCLA. He ended up going to the Holiday Bowl against Iowa, but Slovis got injured and they lost the game 49-24 to the Hawkeyes. The Trojans ended up going 8-5 on the year, and Keaton set the freshman record for passing yards with 3,502. 
He also threw for 30 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, and broke the NCAA freshman completion percentage with a 71.8% mark. He ended up winning the Pac-12 Freshman of the Year award, and the college football world has pegged him as one of the brightest young stars in the game. Slovis is actually so good that he scared off both JT Daniels and Jack Sears, as JT transferred to Georgia and Sears transferred to Boise State. Hopefully Keaton doesn't get injured and he can have a full healthy sophomore year. Personally, Slovis is one of my favorite quarterbacks on the team, and I am super excited to watch him this year. I usually don't really care for USC football, but Keaton has changed that narrative for me, and I will try and watch as many Trojan games as possible. Many scouts believe that Slovis is not only a college star in the making, but he's projected to be a first round pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. He definitely has the arm, the completion percentage, the prestige, and the highlights to make him that. With recent quarterbacks such as Matt Barkley, Cody Kessler, and Sam Darnold, Keenan has big names to live up to, but I think he has the potential to be better than all of them, and I am super excited to watch him this year. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you think that Keaton is a future superstar, or you are a Trojan football fan, be sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comment section down below. If you are new to the channel, I make videos about college football, so take a moment and subscribe and help me reach my 2.5k subscriber goal by the end of June. If you are still here, check out my playlist about a ton of college stars in football right now and I'm going to be doing more over the next couple months. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.